Hello fellas, welcome back. We're off down Paul's. I've done a few videos with Paul now and one question that always seems to come up is what are the models on top of it? He's got like a shelf thing. What are the like model cars he's got up there? So we're gonna go down, we're gonna have a look at them. How heavy is it, Paul? About as heavy as your wallet, Adam. So it's heavy. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm nervous, I don't know how heavy it's going to be. I told you it's as heavy as your wallet. <laughs> you don't need your sunglasses on to get the it down. The sun's behind us here. Right, we'll have to like, right, lift it. What am I doing? It. Just pull it. Li no, lift it, because there's a lip in there. Right, lift it, then pull it towards you. Right. And then put your hand underneath it, that's easiest. Lift it, your girl. Oh, that's not too bad. <laughs> right there. <laughs> right, have you got it? Yep. Fastest this has ever been. It's got cat prints on the roof. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Which right, one we're we getting? Your one. My one. I like the way you said mine. If I might own it one day. When you become rich and famous <laughs> like Shmoo. Shmoo. Or whatever his name Shmee. is. Shmoo. 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 Same again. Oh, this one's not too bad. No. Let's perch it on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> I often get birds in here. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, it's only the feathered variety. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave that bit out or you will ask that. No, she'll giggle her head off. She'll just go. You all right? All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Uh, Chuckle Brothers to meet you. <laughs> Needed a wash anyway, didn't they? Certainly did. You see why I try and collect them? Is there more? I would think that. Do you not know? Are you not too sure? I'm not too sure, but I would think, to be honest, probably most at, um, most at teams probably I did one. You, they might start coming out of the woodwork if we do this video. You never know, do you? You don't. Because it's amazing what people have got stuck like that, lad. That just appeared on Facebook. Aye. Uh, Pit, did Pete not go mad to get it? Or was, were you just in their shop? You know what I'm like, if it's out to do with race car uh, memorabilia, I'm like a tramp on chips. Uh, I was just straight on it. How's it going to fit? Yes. Just. Just, aye. Uh, there we are. Letter of authenticity. Did that come with the model then? Yeah. Have, you, have a look. Yeah, have a look. It doesn't make sense though, really, to be fair. Because it says... Three-eighth scale. Yeah, mother of wonder. Oh, so I wonder if there's more of them. Three the scale of them, model. Apparently. There's Found three, is three. there? Yeah. But this one was never used. Yeah, but why did they build it then? There, there definitely is three, because one of others is in Pro Drives. Museum or something? They're offices. Sure. Is it? Yeah, they've got one. But at least you've got that, you can show right. it. Do you know what it is as well? Like, if you're making a wind tunnel model, to go the extra length and put the stickers on and paint it, yeah, instead yeah. of just... Yeah, leaving just it. leaving it bare, which right. most of them... Just grey or whatever. Yeah. We'll say hello to people, Paul, then yeah. we'll... Uh, should we bring the other ones in? What, do you want them like on the floor in I front of someone? on the floor or something, aye? There, like that. <laughs> it look cool? Hi. Oh, oh, the bikes and the cars oh, yeah, and that. Yeah, cool, yeah. I feel like I'm just a little head pulling yeah. from behind this. Go like that. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. <laughs> right, hi right, fellas, welcome back. As I was saying on the way down, I get loads of questions about these wind tunnel models. Uh, so I've asked Paul and he's let us drag them down, clean them off. So you were saying, Paul, these are wind tunnel models, weren't you? Yeah, that's right. So I've been told, and we've got a, a letter which you've seen from ProDrive that tells you 
what they were etc they were basically um, developed for race cars because obviously when uh, manufacturers make a new car they have to wind tunnel test everything for emissions and to get the best out of the car but because they're going to build millions of cars they build a full scale model don't they because uh -huh. you know it, it's, it's cost effective but for race teams because they only build you know so many cars course. for one season they can't afford to build a full scale model of a car that they're only going to manufacture like with this car they only ever built three uh -huh. so they're not going to build a full scale uh -huh. so the, this is um, a three-eighths scale of the original car cool. and what they do is they build that basically put it in the wind tunnel alter it make the spoilers and do everything they want to do till they get the results they want in the wind tunnel and then just times it by it. however much they need to scale it up to to get it to the so, so they basically can build this and know then they can go into factory build the real cars and it will be perfect right. the arrows are perfect so this did is you, one of three did you get all these from the same person or was it no i didn't I, to be honest i didn't even really know they existed you know, I, I knew. Like I knew. I seen yours. No, I knew um, some manufacturers did build a scale down version, but I didn't know race teams did. And um, if I'm being hundred percent honest, I can't remember how it happened. And I'm pretty sure that somebody was talking about this particular car on a Facebook page, uh -huh. and somebody just put a picture up of this car and said, "Oh, I've got this model. This model," and said, "I've got one of the original three because there was three of these made." Uh -huh. Pro drive wind tunnel models, and everybody was like, Wow, that's cool, that's cool, right. you know. And you know what I'm like, anything <laughs> to do with memorabilia, I was like a tramp on chips. I was at private messaging him, you know, like a, a fat kid waiting for a cake shop to open. You're like, Please reply. And I just sent him a message and said, Would you consider selling it? You know, I like it, I want right. to put it in my little museum. And um, he sort of he wasn't actively trying to sell it. I think it was just a case of, because I'd showed an interest. Aye. And then he did openly admit to me that his missus wasn't impressed with it in hours because it was a <laughs> bit. So he said, yeah. And I said, what do you want for it? And um, he said, 300 quid. Well, I couldn't believe it. quid, man. It was for now. It was Aye. cheap. You know, it was for now. And I just said, right, I'll have it. Aye. Can was I, it local as well? Did you have um, to drive? Over Lancashire way. So how long's that? A couple of hours. A couple of hours. Two, two and a half hours from here. Well, of course, I couldn't get it van quick enough. Nice trip. Can I come over tonight? Like, it was a <laughs> lovely summer's night, and I thought, do you know what? I'll nice go. drive. And um, yeah, I don't think you really, on pictures, get a perception of just how big it is. Uh -huh. You know, when somebody says 3 8 size, you think you, you have this image in your mind of, you know, like 118 scale model. So you think it's about that big. Uh -huh. So anyway, I had my Transit M Sport van at the time, and I thought, oh, I'll go in there and doddle, uh -huh. you know. So I shot across as quick as we could, like drove about 150 mile an hour to get there <laughs> quick, you know, all excited. And I get there anyway, he carries it out, him and his mate out at living room, and I'm like, <laughs> I, I can drive that home. <laughs> anyway, I, I give him money, like I had a bit of banter with him, you know, he was laughing and joking, really pleased that I'd got it, because it'd be nice to display it, you know. Uh -huh. Anyway, the Mars Tranny Sport van was one of them crew cab ones. And in the back, I'd got a load of flight cases, you know, for going racing with all tools and then I couldn't get it in, you know, not without damaging it. So I'm like, oh, I'll put it on back seats. And believe it or not, even looking at it here now, that just went in widthwise across the back seat. Of van. We actually like shut back door real carefully and just gently, because we could hear it going, you know, <laughs> and we got it in and I, and I got it home and... It's brilliant. It's just great, isn't it? Aye, oh, that's super cool. I think it, a lot of people like it because if you're into race cars, especially this area, this was probably one of the most famous Super Tourer race cars they ever built. Because uh -huh. this is the first million pound car, this. I remember you The original it. one, yeah. Right. They, they cost a million pound each to build, which in racing terms back in the eight, you know, 90s, this, that was just unheard of, anybody spending that money. And I was told that these models cost 40,000 each to, to build, build, to make I'd them. imagine mine, because if one man was doing that, yeah. it's a lot of time. And obviously, that I think that includes uh, start months. to finish, so obviously changing the spoiler, then they'd test it again, right. put a different spoiler, alter that, you know, they, they'd modify it, wouldn't they? And I think in total, they were 40,000 to, to, to build, build them. So where did you get, did these two come together? <laughs> they did, actually, well, I actually... This is my favourite mine, I, I absolutely love this. Carbon fibre tyres and everything. It's brilliant, isn't it? There's right. something, I'm a Ford man, so I love that. But if I'm going to be 100% honest, as models go, I think that 
is a fabulous model. Aye, I think it, it is. just so the, the Vectra was a beautiful race car anyway. I Aye, think there was. was just something about the shape of it and the fact that when it was lowered with all the aero on it, just looked great. So I think if I remember correctly, there was a, um, a topic came up about model cars or something on some race car forum. I, you forget how it happens, don't you? But somebody put a picture up of this, I think, and I said, Oh, I've got that car, and I'm always on the lookout for some, some more. more. And somebody said, I know somebody that's got three of them. So I'm like, <laughs> proper excited. Anyway, long story short, I get this phone number of this guy down, I can't remember, he was down South Oxford way, I think. Uh -huh. No, it was Northamptonshire, sorry. And he's got three, all Vauxhalls. He had this one, that one, and the... Um, the Holiday Inn sponsored one that was like the green. The newer model, the newer Vectra. That is that what it, yeah, the, the That's newer Vectra. That's a Vectra v. B, isn't it? Is it a Vectra B? Oh, I'm not a Vauxhall man, it's a Vectra. I nearly bought a Vectra JSI because of the race car. Ah, uh, on, ah, uh, yeah, that's right. This is like the first version, isn't it? And then they did a more rounded one, didn't uh -huh. they? Well, the other one was the, the newer version, you're correct, of, that, of the Vectra. And um, anyway, I contacted him. Oh yeah, he says, we've had them years, and they were on a, a, an, an aluminium stand, so they were sat sort of like that. At an angle. At an angle, and they looked real cool. But anyway, I, I said, will you sell them? I drove down, had a look at them, and I don't mind saying, I'd give 1,500 quid for all three, which I was off at moon with that. Ah, well, I, definitely. You know, I'll give 1,500 quid just for that one. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll send you the money if you can tell with yeah. this. So I get, anyway, I get there and I look at them and I thought, these are fantastic. You know, to get three in one go, oh. unbelievable. So I give him the money, took them off these great stands, which weighed about four tonne each. They were made out of stainless steel, but they had concrete in bottom, you know, so you couldn't knock them all. Oh, right, yeah. You could hardly lift these stands. Anyway, we get some all into the van and I was chuffed to, to bits. Like, anyway, I called it my mate somewhere back and I wish I'd never know, to be fair. It was Ian Goff, you know, that owned DJR2 that I was restoring at uh -huh. the time. I called it his to pick up some bits. And he says, what are you doing down my neck at Woods? I says, oh, have a look at these, you know. And I opened <laughs> back up van and he's like, oh, oh, awesome, you know. <laughs> well, Ian used to own the other Vectra, the, the Holiday Inn one. He owned it. At, the actual car? He owned that car. The actual race car? Yeah, that, the original car. And um, sell me that one. No, I don't want to sell them, you know, I'm not interested, I'm trying to collect them, you know, I, I'm trying to build, a, get as many as I can. I want it, I want it, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> anyway, I'd, I'd, I stupidly told him how much I'd paid for all three, so he says, I'll give you a thousand quid for that one. For the one? For the one. And I said, well, I appreciate the offering, but you don't want I, I don't want to sell them, you know what I mean? I'll give you 1,500 quid just for that one. And I was, so he said, you get them for nothing. I said, well, it ain't really the money, you know, because Aye. they don't come up that often. No. I don't want to sell them anyway. He, he, oh, he got heart strings. I thought we were mates. <laughs> We've been mates for years and all that lot. And I'm like this. Anyway, I let him have it, didn't I? I sold him the, the Holiday Inn one. Did which he, well, has he got it, you know? He, has, he lives in an old mill, does he? In a right. most fabulous house. It is incredible. Beautiful. And you go downstairs and there's all workings to old mill. Oh, and right. old wheels outside and that's fabulous. But downstairs in like the cellar part, if you will, it's his man cave and he's got cars and motorbikes in there. His and, and his son Max's trophies. There's trophies everywhere, you know, for car racing. Uh -huh. and, so it was a perfect place to put it, to be fair. So he's got it down there. Yes. But I didn't want to sell it, but no you know, it is what it is. But, you know, I'm always looking for them. If I can find them, if anybody knows where there is any, let me know, because no. I'm always looking to try and expand the collection, if you will. No, maybe someone out there has got a few more than my tear. Well, like I say, that this came out of just a, a conversation. No. Then these two and the other one came up just out of a... A conversation having with somebody so if but anyone out there has got some message me first no so first. do not message him <laughs> ring me on no so but they're great aren't they like ah, they you said they're, cool. no, they're, they cool. they're all they're all carbon fiber it. so they're the proper i like alley wheels like them they're proper machined alley wheels are they yeah is that not cast no. like a well, well they could be cast you know I more about machine than that but they're aluminium Oh, look at that. Adjustable suspension. Right. But they're, they're just brilliant, aren't they? That's carbon fibre as well. It's all is that it? body's carbon. They're all carbon. Like you said, the tyres on that are carbon. And they've even got little AP brakes and that on, aren't they? 
Aye, that aye. one could be the one that's got it missing, isn't no, it? No, it's on, it's on. Because the one of them fell off, I've got it over there. But yeah, little AP brakes on and... So cool, that like, so cool. I've even been tempted, you know, to put, get a... Put a motor in it? Yeah, remote control, put a petrol motor in it and that, but... Knowing my luck, I'd lose control, aye, smash it smash into the wall and smash it to bits. <laughs> End up so. in the bin. Yeah. <laughs> but they're just fabulous, aren't they? Because they are, when you look at the pictures of the real cars, they are absolutely perfect. Identical. Yeah, they're... they're so just, cool. Thanks for letting us... Uh, Come down and have a look at them for. You're welcome. I really appreciate it. Well, I'll have to be careful you don't start loading them into Boaty Arc. I, I, I would quite. Ha I would kick Amy out and put that in the bedroom. <laughs> See, Amy, you're going to, you're going to, I can't back your mum and dad's that's uh, coming in the house now. <laughs> It'd be World War Three if I took that home. I, I think that's the thing with them is, I think they're, they're a brilliant scale, but they are big. just maybe too big for an house, aren't they? And that's why I put them up there, because... Uh, they're just a good talking point, everybody loves I would have that in my house. I would have that motorbike in my house, happily. Yeah, that might end up in my house, uh, yeah, if I definitely. get me somewhere. Definitely. Uh, but like I say, Paul, thanks for letting us come You're down. You're welcome. If you want to see more videos on Paul's place, I'll leave a link. There's a video where I would do the full workshop. Yeah, full yeah. Uh, workshop. Um, like I say, I'll leave that in the description below. Do you want to leave a link to your social media, Paul? Where yeah, you can do, yeah, you might as well, yeah, put that on. I'll leave a couple of links below. Paul's got a couple of Facebook pages dedicated to race cars and your... Uh, Paul Linford Racing, which is... Yeah, that's the race car one, uh -huh. and then there's the um, RS500 RS 500. owners, which is just about race and road cars, but there's a lot of um, road car owners on that one. Uh, if anyone's got an RS500 one of these, then definitely get in touch. Because you are that. definitely in for a lot of money if you've got an <laughs> RS500 one of these. But uh, thanks for watching, fellas, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers. Do you want to lift back up with them? Yeah. All uh right. -huh. Right then, fat boy. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Yeah. God, this one's everyone like. At least it's got them washed, if now else. Aye. Go on, lift it, you fanny.